What's up, Cowboys fans? I'm Tim. It's the Daily Blitz getting ready for Eagles versus Cowboys. The Cowboys traveling to the not-so-friendly confines of uh, the Link, Lincoln Financial Field up in filthy Delphia. Um, and some, you know, I guess some things riding on the game this week, you, you could say. Uh, the Eagles at 7-1, and one, of course, with uh, leading the NFL, the last remaining one loss team in the league and uh, by all accounts things clicking on all cylinders for the Eagles right now although there there is uh, you know Jalen Hurts apparently is a little hobbled with a knee but you know if if you watch the Eagles games it doesn't look like he's missed too much of a beat he is wearing a brace I don't know if that brace will be on for the Cowboys or what shape his knee will be in certainly the Eagles would not you know divulge anything um Anything that the Cowboys could use to maybe influence their game plan for Jalen Hurts and for the Eagles. But uh, the Eagles do have one big significant weapon who is definitely clicking on all cylinders right now. And that is A.J. Brown. Um, got in his, what, two, I guess two full seasons with the with the Eagles now. I mean, is there any argument he's not the best receiver in the NFL? And just another one of the pieces that the – Howie Roseman and the Eagles went out and got that nobody else was even looking at uh, when they acquired him from the Titans. They kind of acquired him quietly, you know, not, I don't know that anybody else was even in the running or was asking to go get him. But, uh, I mean, he's made a huge impact on that team, especially with his chemistry with, uh, with Jalen Hurts. He's got 148 catches in just 25 career games with the Eagles. And if you saw, his catch against the Commanders last week, uh, I believe it was 14-3 to Commanders, uh, and uh, Hertz caught him over kind of in the corner, left left side of the end zone, and he made that one-handed grab that everybody is calling the touchdown catch of the year and one of the greatest catches they've ever seen, and I don't know about that. I mean, it was a good catch for sure as he was kind of turning around and, and made that one-handed grab. There's no question it was an impressive catch, but... In this NFL, man, we, we see catches like that, I won't say all the time, but somewhat routinely, right? I mean, it's it's nowhere near the Odell Beckham Jr. catch when he was with the Giants on Brandon Carr back in the day. It's nowhere near that level, I don't think. you you Maybe you disagree, and that's okay. But uh, Brown will certainly be uh, a force to be reckoned with for the Cowboys on Sunday. Um, the Cowboys at 5-2, and two, of course, behind the Eagles in the – race for the NFC East and I don't know unless something happens injury wise to the Eagles I don't know that the Cowboys can catch them of course we're all crossing our fingers of course the Eagles won the division last year and you have not had a repeat winner in the division since the 0203 season when the Eagles were coming off their their uh four division wins in a row that included the trips to the uh NFC championship games and Super Bowl and all that with Donovan McNabb. Um, but, uh, you know, is there hope for the Cowboys to catch him? Probably, I guess. I don't have a lot of faith, again, unless something just ridiculous happens. But, um, you know, it's tough to argue that the Eagles aren't the best team in the NFL, especially when you look at how San Francisco has faltered recently. Um, but, again, the big weapon there is certainly A.J. Brown and – you know, even if Jalen Hurts is a little hobbled with the knee, he won't have the mobility. Maybe the run, he won't be the run threat that that he normally could be. But Brown's going to be a force to be reckoned with with a Dallas secondary that has largely struggled this season, especially since Trayvon Diggs went down. But uh, Dak Prescott's on somewhat of a hot streak since the uh, miserable loss to the 49ers a few weeks ago. Uh, he's thrown for almost 600 yards and five touchdowns plus one rushing touchdown with just one interception over the past two games. So Dak seems to be finding his way, finding his arms, finding his legs, and it's been mainly because of Dak's play that the Cowboys are where they are and that they even have a chance maybe to to challenge Philly for the East, and it would be great to get a win in Philly. That would go just that much further uh, in the win-loss column for that – you know, and it's it's certainly a big game for both teams. Uh, it's funny that uh, Dak commented during the week about how going to to Eagle 
going to Philadelphia and playing at their home stadium and going to Lincoln Financial Field reminded him a lot of um, of an SEC matchup. Of course, Dak playing his college ball at Mississippi State. SEC stadiums are known f- to be rowdy, rowdy places to go, especially for a visiting team. And it's interesting that Dak went back to there to uh, to give his opinion of, of going to play there. He talked about uh, getting the peace sign, the one-fingered peace sign from the fans. And uh, Mike McCarthy commented about uh, why it was so unique to go play there. And he said, because the fans are so friendly. Of course, tongue-in-cheek there with McCarthy. So the uh, Cowboys and the Eagles on Sunday, 325 Central Time. The Eagles are favored by three if you're a gambling man with a total of 46.5 on the over-under. Don't have the money line in front of me, but uh, weather's supposed to be in the upper 50s. Should be perfect football weather for an outdoor game. I think we'll all agree that outdoor games are the best in the in when it comes to NFL I don't. Maybe you don't, but I certainly do. Um, so we'll see what happens. Cowboys, Eagles on Sunday. We will uh, probably do a post game or a pregame. Some quick hits heading into the the matchup on Sunday. Uh, if we have time, may jump on with Fish and do a halftime, or definitely, if not, then a post game for sure. A little post game quick hits right after the game. Check it out here, wherever you're seeing this video. And at FanStreamSports.com, the FanStream Sports YouTube page, the Fish Report YouTube channel, and wherever you get your podcasts, the Dallas Cowboys Daily Blitz. I am Tim. Certainly appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what you think about the Cowboys Eagles. I'm at IndyCar Tim on Twitter. Sorry, on X and on Threads. Find me on Facebook. Or if you'd like to just leave a comment in the comment section here of the video, we would love to talk to you there as well. But uh, we will see you again on Sunday. Until then, boys and girls, we will see you.